Hello YouTube, it is KT, that's me, and welcome to another video. Today, we are going to be getting my life back together. The past few months have been entirely focused on my final semester of college. You can check out my last vlog to see how getting ready for finals went, but I've put a lot of time and a lot of energy, pretty much all that I had to spare, into getting ready for final season. That means some other things have kind of taken a back seat, things like taking care of myself and taking care of my environment. Now that I'm finally done with school, I would like to get those things back together and get myself, my room, my car, my general spaces back into being productive, clean, nice environments that I can produce well in. There are quite a few things I need to do in order to be prepared to start the next chapter of my life. I need to wash and style my hair, I need to clean my room, clean my bathroom, I want to buy a journal and start it, I'd like to meal prep for the next week if I can afford to, I want to get a gym membership, I also need to clean my car inside and outside. With all that being said, let's just jump right in and get started washing my dusty, musty, rusty, crusty ass hair. Okay, the last time that I washed my hair was over seven weeks ago. I got my hair done the week before Halloween and it is now December 6th. So it's been a minute. I'm not really pleased with myself and my behavior, but it kind of is what it is at this point. I needed to get through finals and that meant I didn't have time to do my hair and take care of myself. But now that that's finally done, we can, we can handle this situation because this is not even, it's not even cute. That's like the kicker of it all, that it's not even cute. And I've just walked around like this for the past almost two months. So today we're gonna be washing and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do some twists for quick, easy, protective style. And that's gonna be the style for the next two to three weeks until it is time to wash my hair again. We're not doing this seven week, two month nonsense anymore. <laughs> So I'm going to start with a quick detangle, which is pretty easy because my hair is flat ironed, and then we'll head to the shower. And so there's me in the shower showing you guys my hair. Whenever I get into the water, um, especially after a long time not using my hair, and I'm using the Garnier Whole Blends Honey Treasure Shampoo. But a long time after not getting in the water with my hair, it just feels wrong. Like, something I'm not supposed to be doing. Where's the shower cap? Hello. But we got the hair wet. And as you can see here, it pretty quickly puffed right up on us. And it was interesting for me because it was so much shorter than I am used to having. I got my hair cut when I got it flat ironed, and that's what I wanted to do. I'm not mad that it's cut now. It's just seeing it get even shorter when I was washing it. It was like I was back in high school and like we had just did my big chop. Like she was short, girl. To condition, I used the Shea Morther Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask, and I mixed that with the Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner to get my conditioning situation. It was just so weird having my hair that short and like my curls are really popping. I don't know if that was just because of heat damage or if like it's been two months since I've seen my hair curly so I just kind of forgot what it looked like. But my hair was just really curly, really short, and it was kind of crazy for me. Anyways, I went in with a comb after putting in the conditioner to make sure she was all up and through them strands, girl. And once I did that, um, most people sit under a hooded dryer to like heat their conditioner, but I don't have one. So I pulled out my blow dryer and we did what we had to do. But after I was done with this, I rinsed out the conditioner and then I headed into styling, which you'll see in a second. There's a little lesbian rom-com with Kristen Stewart on Hulu. I told myself I was gonna watch, let me get a little bit more light. Okay, this is the best I can do, I'm sorry. But anyways, I told myself I was gonna watch it. So I'm gonna watch it. And while I do that, I'm gonna do it here. Um, this wash, is the first time I have seen my hair since I got it cut and like being in the shower with my hair was actually okay my birthday balloon <laughs> was actually so crazy because it's so much shorter like girl where did the inches go like she wasn't even like at my shoulders it was floating it was so short <sighs> craziest craziest happening of 2020 me cutting my hair um, so I'm hoping that I don't come out looking like a little boy after I style it right now. But if I do, you know, at least my hair is shorter and I don't have to deal with it anymore. Also, look at the curls. 
look at the curl quality like the way that they are just looping and coiling and junk um might be heat damage but <laughs> i don't even care honestly heat damage is kind of cute low key because the girls look at this one who hair is this not my that's definitely heat damage though but not mine <laughs> So sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming, but did you know I recently relaunched my Etsy shop where in which I sell art prints. You can get beautiful luster 8x10 or 16x20 art prints just like these on my shop. I'm offering free shipping domestic and right now there's a special deal where the first 20 people get free additional mini prints with their orders and the first 30 will get all of their prints signed. Please check the link in the description to show your support. Thank you so much. And now back to the video. So this is a pair. It took me about an hour, which is pretty fast. Girl, do you see what happens when your hair is not 5,000 feet long? Ah! I think it looks cute. I'm curling some of the ends, like holding some pieces together for right now. That's what these clips are. But for the most part, she's cute. Getting a little bob, and I'm gonna put some silver clips in it. Not these little, like, you'll see. And it's gonna be cute. So, that is my hair washed and soiled. Oh. So, I just got off work, and now I'm at the grocery store. I'm gonna get a few things for the house and some things to make my little meal for the week. I'm having taco soup over quinoa. So, yeah, I literally just came from work, so we're just going to do this. So to all the people who say being healthy costs just the same as not being healthy, right? We need to have a conversation. and less sugar and less calories but like slightly but like I'm still gay. Should I get some tortillas? <sighs> tortillas weren't really in the plan but it's only a dollar fifty on me. Shit. This is literally gonna be a million dollars. My budget is 30 but I just I know how life works. Alright, I'm only gonna get one of the expensive yogurt. And then for the rest, I will get the yogurt that the doctor actually told me to eat and not the extra fruity shit. The last thing on my list was frozen fruit and I knew it was gonna get cut off the list. I'm gonna add the discount. Enter your alternate ID, then tell. Thank you. Your total is $39. Hey, howdy. I don't know if you can see me, but I am attempting to make my dinner. Right now I am eating onions, which were a real struggle to get cut because I was using the wrong knife and also onions. But now they're in the skillet doing the skillet things. So I'm gonna heat this up. There's a little tiny smidge of food left over from previous nights. So I'm gonna eat that to hold me over while I cook this. And hopefully I still have enough room for this because I wanna eat this making this. But I gotta figure out how to make quinoa because I don't know how to do that. The store they had this lean beef, which you know it's 73% lean. This is what I usually get. But they also had this ultra lean, 93% lean. They had an even more lean one, but I was like, girl, what even is that? So I'm going to try to mix some these together for my dish tonight. 
I don't know if this is too much or too little beef, but whatever. It doesn't taste like what I want it to taste like, but it's not bad, and it exists, and it looks pretty good, and now I'm going to put my toppings on it. I have lettuce, cheese, and sour cream. There is quinoa under there. Um, the quinoa, I put too much water, so, yep. But anyways, it's like good enough. <laughs> That's how all my cooking goes. It's just barely good enough. Hey, welcome to another clip. Just had the king of burgers. I have been eating the food that I meal prep. I have. It's just that um, we ran out and I, I don't have any money. That's kind of how food works. So we're back to the burgers. <laughs> Anyways, I am going now to get my car washed. I have to find my car wash ticket. Hmm. I'm actually going to do that before I leave this parking lot. Um, yeah, I get my oil changed at the place where I get my car washes, and every oil change comes with a free car wash, so I have to find where I put the car wash ticket in order to be able to go here and redeem it, because I'm about to pay for a car wash when it's free, but I'm going to get my car washed, and then I'm going to buy the notebook that I wanted to buy the planner, yeah, it's a notebook, and then I am going to to the gym. I got a gym membership this morning online. I go to the gym and lift the motherfucking weights. Actually, the gym is over there. It's in the same parking lot that I'm in right now. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go to the gym and lift the motherfucking weights. And we're going to be getting poured, baby. I have here a bottle of, I am looking at the camera, but there's no point because I'm wearing shades. But I have there a bottle of, go ahead, of pre-workout. I have never had pre-workout before and I honestly probably shouldn't because it's already 5 p.m. and I'm not even going to the gym right now. But I want to try it. I was supposed to do all like, I, okay, I'm in my car right now. It's 4.50. I was supposed to be doing the same thing at 1.30 but um, <clears throat> you see what had happened was something came along, put me in a very bad mood and when I'm in a bad mood, things just don't get done. So, is that like, no, okay, I'll wait. Um, so, I'm really behind schedule, but it's okay, because I filmed a video for you guys, and you're going to like it, it's going to be fun. A video other than this one, I mean. <laughs> uh, so, I just need to get this done, and then hopefully, like, if I drink the pre-workout, I don't stay up until 5 a.m., I don't know. I've never had it and I want to try it because people say it's like cocaine. I want to be on cocaine while I do my little, my little lips, girl. I don't even know what the lips are called anymore. I haven't been to the gym in over a year. Like well over a year. Corona like stopped me when I was about to return to the gym, but I hadn't been to the gym before that even still. So, I haven't been in so long. And I am concerned for my muscles. It might not be cute. I do like the cover and it already has a 
page numbers and the pages are thicker. There are $7 journals here, but I feel like I'd rather spend an extra $3 for thick pages and numbers. I'm gonna get this one. Start out. I bought the notebook. And now we're gonna try pre-workout. It's literally 6 p.m. and I'm drinking pre-workout. Baddecisions.co.net. You'll see my face plastered on there, but uh, whatever. It's not delicious. It's not unbearable. And it's gonna make me feel like I'm on cocaine. Hopefully it doesn't make me nauseous. Caffeine makes me nauseous sometimes. We'll see, whatever. Oh. Okay. Turning on my car lights is absolutely nothing. Um, so I'm done at the gym. I didn't film a single thing while I was in there because I didn't feel like it, but it's okay. That pre-workout, girl, because the way I tell you my legs were trembling, but I was still doing the exercise, like that seems inhuman. The things I was doing on that pre-workout. Honestly, truly. So that's gotta be a part of my daily gym regime. I'm now gonna go out and buy some pre-workout, and I know that junk is expensive, so uh, it's unfortunate that I like it, but I like it. Um, today was mostly legs. I also did 10 minutes of cardio, which I'm planning to do every workout, and 10 minutes of abs. Also planning to do that every leg day. It'll either be leg day, or it'll be abs and arms day. Yep. Um, I'm hoping to come to the gym... Four, t three, three or four times a week with at least two leg days a week. But I still need to be a skinny legend, so we're doing abs every time we come, even if just for ten minutes. But I also need to be a thick bitch, so two leg days a week, period. <laughs> I'm so annoying. <laughs> um, the gym doesn't have as many Smith machines as I would like for the number of people who come here. Also, there is not a glute machine, like a glute, like, what is it called? Hip thrust? I don't fucking know. They don't have a machine for that, but most gyms don't, so I'm not really surprised. It's very big. The majority of the gym is treadmills. I kind of wish they would chill on that because all the other sections are kind of working. But I can make do with this gym. It's a Planet Fitness, by the way. I can show you. See? We a Planet Fitness. I was in there for two hours on accident. I really told myself I was going to start doing one-hour workouts, but... I guess two hours is just a sweet spot for me because I do a 10 minute warm up and then I do my workout and I'm not about to leave until I hit every muscle group, period. Then I do 10 minutes of abs. Then I do 10 minutes of stretching. That's going to take a minute. So yeah, two hour workouts. That's just, that's where we're at now. <laughs> um, the weights were not as much as they used to be, but I could still do the exercises. Also, no man bothered me to tell me my form was bad, so... We're out here. I hate when men tell you your form is bad because they end up correcting your form into a different workout. Like you be doing sumo squats and then they correct you into regular squats. And I'm like, just say you don't know what you're talking about and go. Because I didn't, I didn't need all of this. If you want to come over and tell me, oh, your back's not really straight. Well, I have scoliosis, so go away. It's never going to be straight. Get lost. Men are just so irritating. Please, if you're a man, don't talk to women in the gym. Just don't even do it. Don't think about it. Don't look at them funny. Don't just, if they hurt themselves, let them hurt themselves. Let them fucking snap in half. Only go up and talk to them if they look at a machine for about five minutes. Like, if they're just staring at a machine. Then you can go tell them what the machine does. Ask them if they need to know. And if they do, tell them what the machine does. Other than that, shut up. Do your workout and shut up. Don't go up to women and say, oh, if it's too heavy, you can lower your weights. You're doing lifts with 30 pounds. That's heavy. Oh, my God. Don't do that. Because I'm going to turn around 10 seconds later and see you done burst every blood vessel in your neck. Got a whole group of men crowded around you cheering. And you are about to fall over and die on rep two. I hate when men try to correct my workout because y'all always on some bullshit. Correct me because I'm actually doing something wrong, not just because you're a man and you think I'm lifting too much for a woman. I'd be working out. Get out of my face. Okay. Um, rant over. I'm going home now. <laughs> Sorry about all the texts I was getting, but I don't feel like editing them out. So whatever. Going home. Bye.
finally time for me to clean my room. I don't really want to. I've been putting this off for days. I don't know if it comes across in this video, but this video has taken weeks. For some reason I thought I was going to be getting my whole life together in a day, but <laughs> I'm lazy. So I've been waiting to like feel like cleaning or I've been waiting to like have time to clean. Um, I don't really have either right now. I'm not in either position, but I've just been laying in bed being sad. And I'm like, okay, yeah, but no, like we don't have time for this. You've already had like your easy chill day this week, so it's time to like get up. So I'm gonna clean my room. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna throw everything away. If there's something I don't want, I'm gonna throw it away. And I recognize that that is wasteful. Right? I recognize some of this stuff can be donated, but most of it can't. And I'm tired of having things in my room, I'm tired of figuring out where to put stuff, I'm tired of like trying to donate stuff, but the donation place doesn't accept this and I have to bring it back. I'm tired. I don't wanna have this stuff anymore. I'm just gonna throw it away. And it's going to hell. I mean, maybe not to hell, but it's not going to be in here anymore. Yup, so let's just go get a garbage bag and just throw everything away. And with that, I did exactly what I said I was going to do. Cleaning my room and my bathroom actually took me two days, but we'll get into that. But anyways, I started out just throwing anything away. Anything I didn't want, got thrown away, and it's pretty simple. I went through my mail and shredded the part, cut out and shredded the parts with my name on it. The rest of it got thrown away. And there were things all over my room that I wanted to throw away, but wasn't ready to or couldn't. So when it came to something that I was actually like, no, I don't want this, I'm going to throw it away. I did. Like that square card thing, should have thrown that away, but I just wasn't really ready to. Maybe someday. Um, so I went around the whole room and just tossed, like, half my stuff. It was honestly pretty nice that I didn't have to, like, find a new place for anything or, like, carry for a donation center. It all just got tossed. And it's very, very wasteful. America is pretty bad with its sweets in general, and then I just contributed to it. So I wish that there was a better way to do that. But I just didn't have one at the time. Um, it's also worth noting that I found an Amazon Fire. Almost threw it away, honestly. <laughs> but I didn't. But I found it, didn't even know I had it. Steam. It also doesn't help that my room doesn't look any cleaner. I promise I cleaned it. There's nothing in this corner anymore. This is like a lot less stuff on it, but honestly, I think I want to just get this whole thing out of my room because it takes up a lot of space. This corner, I wish I could empty it out, but I'm not ready to throw that away. I should, but I'm not ready to. That's my gym bag, so it's like I use it every day, kind of like my regular purse. And that is a friend's Christmas gift, so it'll be out of here soon, but like not yet. I found a temporary tattoo as I was cleaning and I put it on my hand. It is a jaguar and flowers. Yep. Um, cleaned out this drawer. Okay, it doesn't look cleaned out, but like, if you move this, there's nothing under it. This is a craft project that I'm currently doing, so it's not a waste of space. Um, this drawer was already pretty empty. Um, all this in here is my laptop bag, some resistance bands, and a massager. So it's like, it looks messy, but it's really not. Took a bunch of stuff off there. This is going downstairs, and I need to like rotate my mattress so I haven't fixed the bed yet. Removed stuff from here and in here, so this isn't overflowing anymore. That's garbage. I need to find like a box to put in the corner of my desk so that all of the like little stuff can like be in the box. Um, and then also, I have two boxes I already took downstairs, but this is additional garbage. So like, I did a lot of work. It just doesn't really look like it. And I'm running out of steam, so I feel like all the like vacuuming and like dusting and stuff that would make it feel clean might not even happen today. But, like, progress was made, so close enough, I don't know. Continuing cleaning, I went into my bathroom, and on this day I actually noticed I had a lot of laundry, so I figured while I'm at it, I may as well do that. We split up into colors, darks and whites, but I ended up having so few darks that I just washed them with my colors, because I couldn't constitute a whole wash of darks. Do you guys do that? Is that, like, bad for your clothes? I don't know. But here's me walking to the laundry room and, like, loading the laundry and doing the laundry. Yay, so much fun. Wow. <laughs> Love that for us. But, like, seriously, is mixing colors in your load bad? I don't really care. I just, just do it and my clothes come out fine. I don't know. Fun fact for you guys. I actually cleaned my room the day I finished finals. Not my room. My bathroom. I cleaned my bathroom the day I finished finals. It's just been so messy and, like, so hard to live in. Like, before, it was literally filthy. 
like it was kind of disgusting so i cleaned it that very day but this is like two weeks later so i was like eh, i can clean it again for the video you know do the game for the tubes um i did end up cleaning my my bathtub but you don't see the footage of that because i said it would just be too hard to film so you saw me clean off my sink and now i'm doing my toilet and we're getting nice and cleanly. <laughs> it really was a bad semester of just living in filth. So I'm happy to get these things freshened up. I am taking this desk out of my room. I ended up putting it in the basement where my mom wanted me to move a bunch of stuff. So I kind of cleaned the basement too. Here's a little ASMR of the command strip. I just enjoyed command strip clicking sound. I've never used command strips before, but they worked pretty well. I put up my manifest destiny poster because I'm trying to encourage happiness and positivity in 2021. And then I also put up this little mirror because I've wanted a full length mirror so I can check my outfits for a long time. And I've had this one, but I didn't know how to put it on the wall. And then some girl was like command strips. And I'm like, wow, you're literally right and i'm so dumb like why didn't i think of that <laughs> so now i have this mirror and then i did this shot of me cleaning all my mirrors because i thought like oh from this camera angle you can see all three mirrors like it'll be so cute but by the end of it i just felt like i had a lot of mirrors and it just kind of felt like vanity <laughs> like i was gloating about me like look at this there's three mirrors right next to each other like what am i doing i don't know but it's okay they all got a fresh clean coat here I am starting to vacuum and then remembering I forgot carpet fresh. So we come back and we sprinkle that girl on. I love me some carpet fresh. She makes the room smell so nice. It kind of gives me a headache because it's a lot of fragrance all at once. But once I vacuum it up, it's good for me and it makes the room smell really nice. Also vacuuming, like please just vacuum. Even if you didn't clean the room, just vacuum. It's a nice finishing touch. Um, I spent a very long time turning the mattress. It was really hard to do, but here is the final view of my room with the mattress turned, the bed made. I moved my shoe rack underneath the Manifest Destiny poster, as you saw, to clear up more space in the entryway. I made my bed, as I spoke about, which makes the room look so much cleaner. Vacuuming and making your bed are kind of the key to having a clean looking room. As you can see, my um, wardrobe area is pretty cleaned off. You know, I have some bottles and stuff, but for the most part, there's nothing there. And here's the other side of the room. You can see uh, my desk has a bunch of stuff. I need to get a box for my desk to just put my desk stuff in. But other than that, she is clean and it has been nice to live in these past two days just having a sanitary environment. And here's my checklist. We love the checklist. <laughs> With that, ladies and gents, I am willing to consider my life officially together. It's not together. But I did the tasks that I had been putting off all semester due to busyness. I even cleaned out the basement, which I didn't show you guys because I was watching um, a TV show while I was doing it. The show's called Monk. I very much like it. It's about a detective with OCD. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm considering my life put back together. So I'm going to watch Monk in my freshly cleaned bed with the freshly turned mattress. While I watch, I'm probably going to edit this video and send some emails or something. But I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time. Until then, toodaloo. Make sure you check out my Etsy. Link in the description. My Instagram also has a link in the description. I would love it if you would leave a comment talking about some of the things that you need to do to get your life together after this rough semester. And finally, press that subscribe button because I'm getting pretty close to 100 and I would appreciate your continued support. Thank you so much. And now finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, my links. Yes, um. <laughs> please go ahead and have a click on some of my links. You can check out my other videos. And if you want to click my face and subscribe, I wouldn't be offended. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. I hope you clicked on something.